Um, dois e um, dois, três e... Bueno, sim! Sí. Camina! Wow, just look at this place, huh? You got everything you need here. You got the skyline of Miami in the back, pool, boat. Man, if I liked houses as much as I like boats, this is where I would want to live, and then I'd keep my boat in the back. Guys, Nick Cardo's with Mr. Yachts. I want to show you a very special boat today. I got an incredible opportunity last night. A really good friend of mine gave me a call and said, Nick, come and shoot the new boat that we just had delivered. Now, this is a brand new 53-foot race boat designed and engineered by one of the world's top race boat pilots, and it was built right here in Miami. So I'm really, really excited to show you this boat. Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, that's it. Look at this, 53 feet of madness. This thing's a beast. Wow, look at the space on it, too. I can't wait to jump on. Guys, look at this thing. It's got all sea deck cushions all over the place. I mean, not only is this thing built for speed, but it's built for comfort, too. Let's hop on board. Whoop, there we go. Boom. Oh, tide gets a little low in Miami. All right, we're on board. Um, I think the best way to show you guys this boat would be from bow to stern. By the way, this boat is for sale. So if you want some more information, please, you know, feel free to reach out, you know, text, email, carrier pigeon, whatever you want. What I really like about this boat is, is the lounge area space. So it's a, a race boat is what it is. The builders outfitted it to be very comfortable as well. So that's important because when you're in Miami, it's cool to go fast, but it's also cool to like bring your friends and then be comfortable, right? Anyway, so as you can see up here, up front, you've got a massive area. I mean, you could probably fit 10 people up here, no problem. Um, we've got crazy JL audio speakers throughout. The stereo system on this has gotta be bananas. We'll, we'll turn it on a little later to check it out. We've got courtesy lights all throughout the boat. I mean, like a lot of them too. I actually saw a picture of it at night and, it, and it's just like glows everywhere. It looks beautiful. We've got all kinds of deck storage space. So there's access throughout the whole boat and you can even see how they painted the inside. So remember I made a reference in one of the other videos about how under the hood should look just as nice as it does outside. And you could tell that the builders took very good care of building this boat uh, very well inside and out. Now this is cool. You've got the buttons for the uh, electric anchor. It's very easy for a manufacturer to throw like one of these remotes on, and which by the way, they're, they're very annoying because you gotta hold it and maybe you wanna hold on to something. A boat comes by and wakes you. With these, all you do is you just press, or if you're standing up and you're like trying to look down you know, and, and signal the captain like to go, you know, port or starboard. You can literally just like press it with your, uh, with your foot, and and uh, it's a it's a good system anyway. Just very clean. One thing to take notice is they installed sea deck throughout the whole boat, so there's no teak, there's no wood, very low maintenance, and it's very soft and cushy on your feet. It's like a foam, and this foam is very easy to clean too. So we like that. Good job for sure. And, and you notice very high freeboard, right? Now the freeboard is the part of the boat that comes out of the water from the water line all the way up to the top. When boats have a high freeboard, you get a lot less spray because the water doesn't come up and in inside of the boat. This boat has purposely been built with a very high freeboard, so uh, it, it should be a very dry boat too, and we'll see that if, when we go out on it. One of my favorite areas is up here. Now, my biggest pet peeve with boat building is when they leave this, this area bare. You see that on super yachts, like, I'm not gonna name them, but there's, you know, they have that whole floor deck and it's just fiberglass or, you know, it's just painted, but there's no area to lay out. Guys, attention all boat builders. This is what you want. This is what people, where they wanna hang out. This is it right here. And as I like to say, it's all about the vibe. Guys, this is a vibe, for sure. Very well done, guys, very well done. Um, let's move back. Wow, nice, I love this like diamond stitching, it's so cool. We'll go in the cabin after, I think, because we're already outside, what do you think? All right, so we're here at the helm seat. By the way, talk a little bit about the manufacturing, the, the, the quality of the boat. The boat is entirely made out of composite, so it's, it's light, but it's not too light. Um, so it's heavy enough to like go through the waves and, and feel really good, but it's light enough to get up on a really fast plane and just like really blow it away. By the way, it's got five steps. It's a stepped hull. We talked about this in another video. You've got like three big steps and then you've got two small steps. So basically imagine 
Uh, okay, so you've got, so it's like a golf ball, right? Golf balls have those little ridges in them. The reason they do that is to make a more aerodynamic so the air, you know, is, is uh, cr it creates turbulence around the ball and it allows it to move farther. In kind of like a, a brute uh, analogy, that's, that's kind of what a stepped hull is doing here. So what it does is as you're going, it creates these air pockets underneath and basically creates lift for the boat. And it creates a really, a, a really cool sensation too, because not only can you, do, do you go faster, right? That's what you want, want to do on, on a race boat. But you also you also feel the air underneath the boat. Like the boat rides like a lot more cushier, right? It's like, and you and you hear it too. It's it's, it's very cool. I love it. Um, so, anyways, we've got a really nice helm station here. By the way, it's very clean. We've got the two uh, 16 inch Garmin's. That's a little overkill, but I love it because what's overkill when sky's the limit, right? Like, this is this is the best. You've got two big screens. Finally, you've got somebody who has some common sense and actually puts the volume button where you need it to be so you don't have to like go inside the cabin and change the volume. When you're docking or if there's some kind of like event that requires like actually like attention on a boat, you wanna be able to kill the volume uh, right away. Like if, imagine there's a, a safety issue and there's like, you know, music blaring, like you don't need that. Um, so anyway, so that's cool to have that there. I really respect that. And you've got the controls here. The rest, it's super clean. You've got the jack plate controls here. Now, what jack plates do is, um, I guess we can talk about that a little later. So these controls allow you to do that. We've got a bow thruster here, very standard. And we've got some cup holders, so simple, right? So, when it comes to layout, I'd like to consider myself a layout aficionado of some sort uh, because I've been boating for a long time and layouts matter, they really do. So what I like about this layout is we've got most of the lounge space up forward and we've got the seating in the back and you notice that there's no sun pad in the back right here come over here so we've got we've got seating for six here that's good um, and then you've got a big open area in the back especially as an owner operator you don't want to have your sun pad in the back especially in a center console setup because you almost feel like a chauffeur right you've got people laying out in the back you've constantly got to turn around to make sure everybody's okay make sure nobody falls in the water I mean, you know, people out they get up, there's a bump, boop, all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're like, you know, half a mile away, you gotta turn around, not good. So I like having this concept back here. It's also a great place to, as like a loading platform. Now you can see, I'm jumping around a little bit, but we got a dive door here, right? That we could just open up and it goes right into the water. Like how easy is that? That's so cool, right? All right, see you later guys. I'm just gonna go for a quick dip. feels so good. Guys, if you're not in Miami, let me tell you something. It's brutally hot here, but we've got water everywhere, so it's really awesome. And if you have a boat with a dive door, you can just come right out like this. And you see it's like a wet area here, so this, this works out really well. And then you've got your seating in the back, so people are chilling, you wanna put on your fins, you wanna do all that. There's so much to show you on this boat that I love. Um, first of all, let me pull this back up. Look at the system, very easy, right? Just boop, put that in. Voila, we're good. Come check this out back here, the, the transom. I love this, right? By the way, no door here, love it. So all those doors are always like breaking and stuff. Um, anyway, so back here we've got, guys, we've got 1600 horsepower on this boat. We've got four 400 horsepower Mercury race engines. We got them on jack plates, so look, here, I'll show you. So these are jack plates, you can see these. They're, 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 they're mounted on hydraulics, so what that does, so you've got the trim of the engines, which, for example, right, that's the trim. And so what that's gonna do is that when you're, when you're running the boat, right, you wanna be able to adjust the, the, the engines vertically, but you also wanna be able to adjust the trim. If you have the right pilot, somebody who really knows what they're doing, when you trim the boat properly, it has just enough of the boat in the water that you maintain control of the boat, but you have enough of it out of the water that, I mean, you can just like, you're flying, right? Now, what's good about these engines is that they've got the best power to weight ratio that this boat could have. This boat's gonna run probably around 65 miles an hour. Now, yeah, some of you are gonna say like, yeah, there's faster boats. Yeah, we know. There's boats that go like 200 miles an hour, but that's not this boat because it's a hybrid. You want it to be fast, but you also wanna be chilling on it too because you want to take your friends to Bahamas. You know, this boat's going to like cruise at 50, 55 miles an hour. You're getting there in about 45 minutes. That's cool. That's enough for like, you know, you know, a case of beer 
a really good DJ set or whatever, and uh, you're there. Like by the time you lose sight of Miami behind you, Bahamas pops into view. It's it's a it's a really cool trip. I can't wait to do it. Um, that was all that was all last summer for sure. Gonna hope, hopefully get to do that this summer a lot too, and uh, show you one of those trips. And then of course, my favorite part is the bar area and the grill. Now. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. It's the texture of this um, of this countertop. It looks like shampoo in a bottle, right? Look, look how beautiful that is. That's so cool. Um, so, you know, anyways, this is a very functional bar, right? You got a wet bar here. You got your fridge, your ice maker. You got a little grill going on. And trust me, we be grilling on boats, like, all the time. And this is a good grill. This will cook up a nice... Uh, I mean, believe it or not, you throw on six sausages, a couple of ribeyes. I mean, you might think, yeah, it's a tiny grill. These things kick ass. They're the best. They're the best in the business. These Kenyan grills, I'm one of at least. Look at speakers everywhere. You gotta have like one, two, six seven, speakers here. here. Four, yeah. two. Here. Look at this sunroof, by the way. I love that. Let's come check out the cabin. Ah, there we go. Nice. Now this is a nice cabin. I'll tell you why. You've got a big, pretty much a king size bed right here, uh, which allows you to overnight. You've got AC, lights all over the place, a nice little bench here. I mean, really this is, this is the area where you're gonna throw all the luggage, all the stuff for overnighting. Uh, if you wanna overnight, you could. Um, and then you've got a full bathroom here. That's the cabin, let's go check out the rest. All right, cool. I just got my Bluetooth hooked up. I want to check out the sound system. Now, I don't know if this comes through on YouTube or not, but if you've got some, like, headphones or you can stream this to your t TV, maybe it'll pick it up. This thing cranks. Watch this. Woo! That was a little much, a little much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow the thing, jeez. Won't do that. Well, I think it's almost time to go. Let's take this thing for a spin, you know? Uh, the guys are almost like, yo, you guys ready? Let's go. just like like a glove anyways guys I hope you had fun today uh, this boat to me is awesome let me know what you think about it the design what would you do different it's a great boat for Miami for sure it's a great day boat it's got a lot of hosting space a lot of seating a lot of lounge area it's fast I mean it looks cool I mean for me it checks all the boxes um, but let me know your comments down below Thanks for watching as always. If you know anybody who likes, uh, you know, who likes boats, please share with them this video. By the way, this boat is for sale. So if you want some more information, please, you know, feel free to reach out, you know, text, email, carrier pigeon, whatever you want, fax. I know, do we still use those anymore? Anyway, please like and share with your friends. Um, see you next time.